This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Level 7 8 problem number 25. Sania writes a positive integer on each edge of a square. She also writes at each vertex the product of the numbers on the two edges that meet at that vertex. The sum of the numbers at the vertices is 15. What is the sum of the numbers on the edges of the square? A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, D, 10, or E, 15. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we will be doing the solution. To start, I've drawn a square and labeled the, ver the edges A, B, C, and D, because in the problem it states that she writes a positive integer on each edge of the square, which I've represented with variables. And we also know that at each vertex, she writes the product of the numbers on the two edges that meet at that vertex. So at this vertex, the two edges that meet are A and B, so this vertex will be labeled AB. By the same logic, this one will be BC, CD, and AD. So we know that the sum of the numbers at the vertices is 15. This means that AB plus BC plus CD plus AD must be equal to 15. And we know that we're looking for the sum of the numbers on the edges of the square. So keep in mind, we're looking for the sum. That means that we don't really care what A is or what B is. We just want the sum of A plus B plus C plus D. So in order to find that sum, we should factor the terms in order to get a plus b plus c plus d. So in this pair of terms, we can factor out a b to get b times the quantity of a plus c. And over here, we can factor out a d to get d times the quantity of a plus c is equal to 15. And we can rewrite that as being the quantity of b plus d times the quantity of a plus c. And that's equal to 15. Now, what are the pairs of numbers that are positive integers that multiply to 15? Well, we can have 1 and 15, or 15 and 1, 3 and 5, and 5 and 3. But keep in mind that all the edges should be positive integers. Again, that's why I circled that. So that means that we can't have the sum of the edges be equal to 1 because they wouldn't be positive integers then. So this goes away and that can't happen either. So we know that b plus d is either 3 or 5 and then a plus c is either 5 or 3 as well, right? If, the, if b plus d is 3 then a plus C is 5, and then the other way it would switch. B plus D could be 5, and A plus C could be 3. But we don't really care which one's which. The sum is the same. One of them's going to be 5, and one of them's going to be 3. And if we add those two together, we will get the sum we're looking for. We're going to get A plus B plus C plus D, and we know that must be equal to 8, because either way, we either have 3 plus 5 or 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8. This is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.